going on, everybody? Mr. Rock and Roll. Coming at you today with a little bit of Sabaton. Now, Panzer Camp. This one, I looked it up. And like I have to do, it's like a little mini history lesson. The Battle of Kursk. I actually, I don't know if I'm saying it right. I think it's right. I actually remember this one. I remember this one being taught because my history teacher in high school just loved this battle because of just not the uh, sheer scale of it. So if I remember correctly, Battle of Kursk was 1942 or three. I think it was three. Biggest military engagement ever. And here we are. Now, where were these songs when I was in high school? That is the real question. I might be wrong there. I don't think I am, though. Battle of Kursk. Let's see what we got. And it was between Soviet, uh, the Soviet Union and Germany. And the Soviet Union won, even though they lost more soldiers. Could be wrong on that. Let's go. These World War II songs, man. Into the motherland, the German army marched. the motherland. Getting harder and harder to, to react to because I, especially World War II, not harder as in like the songs are getting old. This, I always have to, <laughs> I always have to, it's getting to a point where I have to watch the video and then they, they paint a picture so well, dude. Imagine being on the defensive. And you just in the distance. If that would be like at you're sitting on, you know, the two towers, <laughs> Lord of the Rings, and you're watching this this onslaught coming, and you're like, all right, this is gonna be wild and crazy. And that is that is just picturing that is crazy. That's what gave me chills. Song hitting the just Man, I mean, that's crazy. I have no words other than Saba Ton. Comrades, side by side, stop the Nazi charge. Answers of Russian soil, a thunder in the east. One million men at war, the Soviet rock unleashed. Fields of broken rock, and the heat of battle burn. And the tide of war was turned Driving back the Germans Fighting on for France 
guys. This, this, it's the subject matter. And, and political, uh, put that away. That modern politics stuff. We're talking about history. And Sabaton, this is why I like Sabaton. They're so, I think it was Joachim that said, we don't have a, a country. We belong to all. I might be paraphrasing there, but man, this song is so good. But I, it's, I keep getting chills because I keep thinking of what that actually looked like. Can you imagine? This is like an unstoppable force coming at you. And man, like blacken the sky of smoke and just constant bombshells constant tank rounds being shot all over the place and you're just a guy with a gun running through the mud wow Okay, so the reason for the less active one here is as heavy as it was, I, I was so in, encapsulated in what it was about. And this song, it was less about head banging and, you know, at least for me, I might be the only one. Because it's, that's, I get, I, Give it, give the credit to Sabaton there. Because what should be headbang is more like, uh, I don't feel like emotional is the right word. But it, it makes you think like, what would you do for your homeland? What would you do? You got a pure evil thing coming at you. And they're tenfold. This song was crazy. I have no other words. Polit political stuff aside, and I'm glad they won because there's no telling where we'd be had Germany won. No offense, Germany. But come on. <laughs> it's a rough time for, you know, Germans at the time who were uh, not happy to be German. I'm German. This is getting crazy. <laughs> anyway... Well, hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys stick around. <laughs> I love you all. Put put that out there. Love you all. Please hit subscribe. More Sabaton. See you next time.